Hi everyone, my name is Mayuka Vidari and today I'm here to talk to you about XRPL plugins. XRPL plugins is a project that aims to make it easier to write amendments. Writing amendments for the XRPL to add new features is very hard. There aren't that many people that have the expertise that are able to do this. Part of this is because you need to know C++, which isn't really a programming language that a lot of people know these days. So how can we make that easier? One way would be that we allow people to write amendments in other languages. For example, Python. Python is a much more popular language, and so that opens up the ability to write these amendments to a much broader group of people within the XRP Ledger dev community. So here's an example of a plugin next to the actual raw RippleD code. For those who aren't familiar, RippleD is the code that basically runs the XRPL. So this code right here is written in C++, which, as I said before, is not a language that a lot of people know. And this code right here is written in Python. And these two pieces of code do basically the same thing. So as you can see, this code right here is both shorter because you have to go a little further down to finish reading this code and a little easier to read, at least if you're not a C++ dev. The C++ devs who are watching this may disagree. But you can also see that a lot of the syntax is very similar. So for example, we both pieces of code have this function called preflight that take this parameter called context or CTX. And this is just a little debug statement that I added so that you know that your plugin is working. But then this code is basically doing the same thing. It's just taking, it's running this function called preflight1, it's checking if it's successful, and then it's returning it. And that's basically the same thing that's happening here. And if you go down all of this line by line, you'll notice that they're all basically doing the same thing, except there's a few minor changes in the Python code just to make it a little simpler and easier to understand. The way the plugins work is you take your Python code, you build it using a special script that I wrote, and you take that output plugin and you give that link to RippleD via the config file. And when RippleD starts up, it then pulls in whatever plugins that you've put into your config file and it runs those. Whenever you send a transaction, so in this case, whenever you send a transaction that's called set regular key to, it will then go to the plugin instead of trying to process it via RippleD, which RippleD has no idea what set regular key to is, so it would just return an error. And then the Python code runs, just the same as if the C++ code was running. It's kind of magic. So the objective of plugins isn't really to add new features to mainnet, because Python is generally less secure and less performant compared to C++. But it is very useful for if you want to build new experimental features and you just want to try it out, work out the kinks, figure out all the issues. Or if you want to build your own sidechain and you want some custom features there but you don't quite know C++ that well. You can do whatever you want in a sidechain, so you can build in Python if you so desire. This will be ready for you to use soon enough, but if you would like to try it out before that, feel free to check out the XRPL plugins repo. Thank you.